Hello everybody, this is Stalky for a new Shadowverse video. I've decided I will be doing one game a day starting from now. Instead of just doing high instead of doing just high production value videos that take me eight hours a day, we'll also be doing just random ladder games of Shadowverse. So today I wanna to be trying Salt version of Borocraft. This is the one he brought to the Rage Finals yesterday and he made Green Finals with it. So what's interesting Sorry for all the animated version of card. I know it's really messy because of it. But the interesting point is he's playing three swordsmen, whereas most people play one or two because of the random aspect of it. Once one mechanic, two iron forge fighters, and two rocket knuckles. So he plays two rocket knuckles instead of the two other substitutions. He plays only one substitution. And since he plays a bit more two drops and iron forge fighter. He doesn't play any Sapphira, so there is no real finisher outside of just Radiant Artifacts and copying them with Biofabrication. So let's jump right in. I'm Since I'm used to playing with Sapphira, I might make a few mistakes. I might be too cautious where I should be pushing through, when I should be pushing more damage through. And of course, I end up against Forest Craft. I won't be doing like other YouTubers who only post when they win. I feel like this is dishonest and not really helpful for people who are trying to get better. So, starting with the meta projection is always good, and Miriam will help me get. Get the artifacts I want because with this curve I can go turn 3 Miriam, turn 4 Miriam, since the turn 3 Miriam turns resonance off. Uh, really don't what I want to see because with that I cannot really go for Miriam. It's a bit rough. I really want to play my substitution here. But if I play my substitution, the problem is then my turn 4 becomes really bad. I still kind of have to do it. Yes! Even if it feels bad, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And the puppet will also be able to trade with the Sky Stride Raptor. If he decided to go face, so he's taking more of the control role, which I understand. I think it's the right call as Forest Craft against Watercraft. And here, so we don't know anything in hand. It could be a rain turn, it could be anything. But yeah, I have four, three Marianne. I'm playing one just to get on the board. As long as he doesn't play Wood of Brimbles, it's gonna do something. Speaking of the devil. So, yeah, now I'm in trouble. I'm in real trouble. Mm, I'll be going for the Miriam. Even, of course, <laughs> of course. Even if he decides to destroy my board, I'll live with it. I didn't go for an involve to kill the fairy because I want to see what's happening first. Oh my god. If it was a more aggressive version of Forest Craft, I would have had a chance. Because they can run out of gas, but here he got Venus, so it's gonna be really rough. I have no way to handle this Venus at the moment. I think I will be going for Deus X. To then try and have a crazy next turn, uh, yeah, a crazy turn seven. If he doesn't have any other wood of Bremels, I might have a chance. 
Yeah, I have to go for that. Feels bad, man. No Cassiopeia, please. But here with Axorasium analyzing. Ah, oh, no. Why? Why? Why me? Maybe he decides to not play it right now. Who knows? Maybe he shows mercy. He doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Or does he? I still have a single artifact dead, right? Yep. So far, so good. So I have one analyzing artifact left in the deck at the moment, which means I cannot have an artifact from Radiant itself in Miriam. What am I gonna do? I don't truly really know. I think I will Radiant and uh, evolve Miriam here. Then I can kill it. And then I'll have Magnaligus next turn, so... I think I'm gonna go for an Axelorassian play. And next turn I can sacrifice my Analyzing Artifacts to have Magnaligus do something. So, yes, with that I go back to 3. With that I can go to 4, do I want to actually? Yeah, I'll play Hamlin and Lysing. Just to be cycling through my deck. Then with Moram, since I don't have any artifacts inside my deck at the moment, I'll put more. And I'll do that. Be good. Oh, Primal Artifact could actually be a pretty decent play next turn because we have the Axelrasium and it does something into Wood of Brambles, which is not the case of the rest of our hand. We did take a few big hits, but they don't have any evil left, and even though I guess we're gonna die to Jungle Warden in a few turns, Prime could be what saved us. Our opponent still has two fairies in uh, no, one fairy in hand. I guess he took the black dress to put his, its toughness to one. Mm, yeah, if I go for... Oh, that was a good draw. <laughs> I'll go for prime analyzing. Uh, with this, I'm guaranteed to get a Radiant Artifact, but then I cannot play the Rocket Knuckles. I can't. I, I really want to be saying over 8 life point to not die to a Jungle Warden. Mm -hmm. but yeah. At the same time, I don't really want to be wasting a Rocket Knuckle on 1-1 one -one when I have a Puppet for next turn, so... Let's just go that way, go all and sync on them. No, it wasn't NSYNC. I wanted that way was... Um, Backstreet Boys. I wanted that way. Tell me why I can't still be a Rex, my boy. Mm, and totally forgot I was under Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> I guess th this is what my first game of the day will be about. <laughs> me trying to wake up. And making absolutely terrible plays. <laughs> um, at the moment, so I um, I don't have any artifact left actually. Um, so let's go with the. If I go fighter Hakrabi, Joel by a fab, I'll be. I'll have a lot of written artifacts, but it's it's gonna be rough. I guess I have to go for making swordsman and see what I get. 
Pray for Oh! Could be okay? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Let's pray and hope that my opponent um, ran out of Food of Emeralds. Do I want more ancient artifacts? Yeah, I kinda do. I'll have to clear what he plays in the next few turns. So, I just realized I made a huge mistake. I had Chuck Sarasim in my hand, I didn't really take that into account. Because I have one on the, on the board. But it was my last one. I won't have any Axelrasim left. And I put Analyzing Artifacts in my deck. Which is not really what I wanted to go for if I don't have any Axelrasim left. I have two Radiance sent to the Iron Forge Fighter. But for I will really need to be biofabricating them. And I'm not even sure it's gonna cut it because without Axelrasim it's gonna be hard to chain many artifacts together. Copying the ancient artifact was a good call in the end. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> no, not the Wood of Rambles, man. The third one. God, turn four Wood of Rambles, turn six Wood of Rambles. There was not no Wood of Rambles on eight. I mean, I can be happy with that. And here, I would really like to have Sapphire in my deck. So next turn, I would be dead to Jungle Warden if I don't shred anything here. Hmm. I guess I'll use a Rocket Punch to trade. Rocket Punch deals a lot. Yeah, just be going face. And if my opponent has a Jungle Warden, I'm in trouble anyway, so... If I... I need to kill the 2-2 if I want to not die. Jungle Warden Because if I don't kill it, he can just sack This creature. Oh, he cannot sacrifice Lilac So even if I leave him with the 2-2 yeah, Even if I leave him with the 2-2, he cannot kill me because he cannot sacrifice his Lilac If I... Oh, I would need to leave him with all His creatures if I did that let me think for a second. I'll be playing Deus Ex because I want more fat on the board. Question is, who do I rocket punch and do I rocket punch anybody? Lilac having the clash effect means he cannot... He, he cannot sacrifice it on any of my creatures. And if he sacrifices a 2-2, he doesn't have lethal on uh, his enchant... His monkey main. I'll kill the 2-2 though, so he has a harder time clearing my board. And I won't be playing Biofabrication because I didn't really want to be drawing into more copies of Ancient Artifacts or Analyzing Artifacts. Here I really want my last Radiant Artifacts, I'll get to, I still have one more in the deck. That's what I'm shooting for. And actually if my opponent cannot clear my board here, I might be in a good spot. And I really wanted to be killing Lilac, but... Killing... What?! That's... Uh, that's not gonna catch us, man. Spoiler alert, Elf Queen is not a great card. Um, she was... so... Tons of people played Elf Queen in their mid-range forest craft deck at the Rage Open. Nobody even casted it once. Everybody had it in their hand for tons of turns and nobody cast it. Gaining life is not really relevant if you don't have the board presence. And she doesn't have rush or ward, so she doesn't affect the board the turn she comes into play. I really, really dislike Elf Queen. And we could see why here. So, very interesting game in the end. I really like the last turn where my opponent had Lilac. And I let it leave, so he couldn't sacrifice it on one of my creatures. And kill me with Jungle Warden. 
I hope you like the game. I got very lucky to win it because I, I was 90% sure I would lose it. But hey, sometimes you get lucky. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another A Game A Day Keeps the Doctor Away.